Express LRS is fast becoming my favorite control link. And that's why the JB version of the RadioMaster TX16S, I asked that they put Express LRS in it instead of the traditional 4-in-1 module. But there's a place where Express LRS still gets edged out by control links like Crossfire, Ghost, and Tracer. And that is when you find yourself needing to flash the receiver, but you're not sitting near a computer. And today, we're gonna look at an app for your cell phone that can address all of that. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. The app that we're looking at today is the SpeedyBee app, and you may have seen me talk about it previously on my channel. SpeedyBee is in some ways kind of like Betaflight Configurator for your phone. So if I plug in this flight controller here, uh, and then just hit the USB, oh, it auto-detected, isn't that nice? We just connect and we are looking, just one second, there we go, connect. We're looking at what looks an awful lot like Betaflight Configurator. And you can just uh, do all your configuration there. And you could literally set up a whole flight controller uh, just from your phone this way. But SpeedyB is a lot more than just a way to configure Betaflight. And we can see that if we go to the left side of the screen here, they've got a black box analyzer. It's a very simple black box analyzer, but it's still better than nothing. And they've got a firmware flasher where you can flash Betaflight, EmuFlight, or iNav from from your phone, but only if you're using the SpeedyB adapter. I'm pretty sure you can't flash just from USB or Wi-Fi without the SpeedyB adapter. An ESC configurator for BLHeli S or BlueJ ESCs. And the thing we're actually here to see today, the Express LRS configurator. This lets you compile and flash Express LRS firmware in the field. And you might be thinking, compile Express LRS firmware in the field. Doesn't compiling Express LRS firmware require a whole bunch of utilities that only run on like PC? Yes. But what they're doing is they are compiling it in the cloud and then they just give you the firmware over the internet and then flash to your, it's pretty freaking cool. It looks like 251 is the latest version. So, okay, we'll select 251. My device is the Happy Model, 2.4 gigahertz. It is the Happy Model EP2400 receiver. The flashing method, it, it, the only one it supports is Wi-Fi right now. Uh, and I actually don't think this option work, does anything at all. And it might surprise you that there's an option in there that doesn't do anything. Basically, they're just pulling these dialog boxes from the Express LRS configurator and not all of them actually fully work, but that's how they're keeping this sort of synced up. But some people have said, well, wait a minute, isn't that, is that a, like a violation of an open source something or other? Because this is not an open source app. And I don't know if technically they're breaking the rules of the GPL, the open source license, but I asked a couple of the Express LRS devs and they were all like, no, what are you talking about? They're not, it's fine. So as much as that matters, there you go. We'll finish setting the other options and we will hit build and flash. And now it is downloading the firmware from the internet. It didn't even seem like it compiled it. I don't know if I go back and I like put in a binding phrase, will it have to compile it separately? Like I just took the default options. If I put a binding phrase in, test one, two, three, that's my binding phrase. Will it actually, ah, waiting to build, yeah. So there we go. Now it is compiling somewhere up in the internet. It's not doing this on your phone. Well, I guess we'll just sit here for a while. Mm. Oh, there we go. Uh, and then we are going to flash it over Wi-Fi. And when we connect to that Wi-Fi network and go back, it will try to upload it. It's not finding it. All right. So the way I've set up my Express LRS system is I have a separate Wi-Fi network that is just for the Express LRS devices to log on to. And when they boot up and go into Wi-Fi mode, they connect to that Wi-Fi network and then I can see them all from my computer. It didn't seem to work to flash over the home Wi-Fi network, let's try the old hotspot method where the receiver itself broadcasts a Wi-Fi hotspot and see if that will work. Build and flash, downloading. Should cache those files locally, don't you think? Would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Would make sense if it would cache them and then like let you pick previously compiled files if you, if you were like away from the in internet. So now we'll try the hotspot method. We will connect to the Express LRS RX network 
and it has no internet connection. And oh, that was quick. Uh, shit. Uh, uh oh. Uh, did it break? Oh no, that's. Oh good, update complete. I thought it interrupted there. My phone tried to be clever there, but I think it, I think it did it. You know, this app has some room for improvement and I'm sure that the folks over at SpeedyB are working on making it more full, fu full functional. Uh, but for now, it is super, super valuable because as far as I can tell, this is the only way to flash a, a ExpressLRS module or receiver from a smartphone. Every other method that I can think of requires an actual laptop or PC. There's a link down in the video description where you can pick this app up if you decide that you would like to do that. It is ad supported. Mine doesn't have ads. I've unlocked the no ads version, but I do want to disclose that it's ad supported. If you are wondering about all the shenanigans with Express LRS receivers and Wi-Fi, I'm going to put a card on screen telling you more about that it is a super easy way to flash and it's pretty freaking cool. In addition, if you're thinking about getting a new radio, the Radio Master TX16S comes in a ton of versions and it's hard to keep them straight. And I did a review of those uh, and I can help you pick the one that you're looking for. Cards on screen for both of those. Go check them out. I'll see you there. Happy flying.